cupcake and I'm coming to you with an update video because it's been quite a while and I just finally felt like uh, filming a video. So I'm just going to give you an update on my, like where my weight loss is at and just life in general. Um, it's just, so it's just going to be kind of a mixed bag, you know, just an update. Um, so uh, first, you're probably watching me because I mostly have done like weight loss surgery um, journey videos and um, so I'll start there. Um, so I had a vertical sleeve gastrectomy weight loss surgery January 26th of 2017 in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, my highest weight was like 296 um, and the weight that I was when I decided to have weight loss surgery was in the 260s. Uh, that's when I went to my doctor because that was part of the requirements uh, for my um, insurance was to get a recommendation from my primary care doctor. Um, so. I got to the 290s, uh, from the 290s to the 260s um, by, like I was put on metformin because I was pre-diabetic and so that actually helped my body to use the insulin it was producing because I had insulin resistance and that helped me to lose some weight and then I just kind of ate a little better and um, was a little more active and so that's how I got to the 260s, but uh, I spent a lot, a lot of time in the 270s. So probably more time in the 270s than at any other weight. And then um, when, let's see, I had a 10 day supervised, or yeah, no, I'm sorry. I had a three month supervised diet for my insurance and I got down to 239. Uh, over those three months and um, I then had a 10 day thousand calorie diet prior to surgery and I got down to 234 which was my surgery weight um, my lowest weight since surgery was like 153 um, that I've maintained I'm five four and a half and I'm also almost 34 years old um, in June I'll be 34 um, which I know is weird and crazy and I definitely don't feel that old but at the same time I definitely don't feel like I'm in my 20s especially like um, you know in comparison to the 20 year old like the 20 something people that I know so anyway I um, yeah, so 153 was the lowest weight that I maintained. And I maintained it for probably a year or so. And then I started eating more, I started exercising more, and I have been a bit higher um, since then. So lately I have been in between like 157 and like 162 pounds. I don't know how much I weigh today because I didn't weigh myself when I got up this morning and that's only the only time I really like to weigh myself. I feel like that's the only time that's pretty accurate when I haven't eaten after I've used the bathroom and everything. And I just didn't, I didn't weigh myself today. Um, but I'm somewhere in between that range, I would imagine, because that's where I have been. And I can kind of tell like how I feel and kind of how my body looks. Um, you know, roundabouts where I'm at. Sometimes I'm surprised, but um, yeah, I would say that I'm some somewhere in there. Uh, Size-wise, in case you wondered, um, I'm wearing like between a two and a four in pants. Um, I wear, I still have a belly, and so I wear my pants under my belly. So if I wore my pants over my belly, then I might wear a little bit bigger of a size. Um, but that's just where I've carried the majority of my weight and I look silly, uh, personally. For me, it looks silly if I wear my pants <laughs> over my belly. So that's just a no-go for me. 
Um, and so I have small hips and so I wear a pretty small size in pants. Um, and then shirt wise, I wear between a, like a small and a medium generally. Um, this is a small shirt. I have lots of smalls. I have some mediums. Um, so it just kind of depends on the shirt and let's see, I went down several sizes in my bra, um, especially the band size. I was wearing like a 44, 46, um, before I had weight loss surgery and I was wearing like a size 14, 16 in pants at that time. Um, and like extra, extra large shirts generally or extra large because I liked tight fitting clothing. I still do. Um, so yeah, I probably wear like a medium shirt. I, I'm bigger on top than I am on bottom. And, uh, but I fit into smalls and I prefer wearing smalls a lot of the time. So, um, but band size now I wear like a 34, um, band size. And then, um, my cup size has maybe went down like by one. I was like a triple D and now I'm like a D double D. Uh, so yeah, um, because of the loose skin, I, I probably would have gone down the small, even smaller than that, but there's still loose skin. So, um, I'm not able to get into like a C cup. So, um, I wear, yeah. Anyway, so that's, that's size wise where I'm at. Um, whereabouts I'm at and uh yeah I like I just kind of I don't know like eating wise I go through periods of time where I just kind of eat whatever I want and then I usually gain a little bit of weight and then I you know like a few pounds um the most I've gone up you know, it's probably about seven pounds, um, you know, after like a stint of just eating whatever I want for a while. Um, and then I kind of get back on track and then, you know, I go back down. And so that's kind of <laughs> what I've been doing. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. It's like sometimes I get tired of dieting and sometimes I just want to eat what I want to eat. And depending on like where my mental and emotional health is at, that affects things um, like how much I'm exercising, how stressed I am, just lots of things, you know, affect like how, how much I weigh and, and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of in a range and so I try to find balance between eating the things that I want and eating, you know, um, lower carb, high protein, um, and it works out for me most of the time. So, uh, let's see. So that's kind of where I'm at. I've been cooking and baking a whole lot lately. Um, I never liked to cook or bake in the past and I wasn't good at it. Um, and I convinced myself I wasn't good at it because the times that I did it, I really didn't want to do it. And I, I just did all the things that, you know, um, like I made all the mistakes basically like using high heat when I should be using medium heat because I was impatient didn't want to wait for things. I don't know, cooking was like a chore for me growing up. My mom was a single parent. Um, like until I was an adult. And so um, I had to cook a lot because I had a little brother and sister and my mom would be working and I really hated it. And so, yeah, I, once I didn't have to do it, like when I was out on my own, I didn't do it. I ate a lot of fast food. Um, I ate a lot of like really simple food. Like I remember eating a lot of bagel sandwiches. <laughs> um, and like I said, a lot of fast food, a lot of fried food, a lot of pizza, um, a lot of alcohol, a lot of caffeine, a lot of soda, that kind of stuff. Like I would, 
I would have a lot of those things um, when I was out on my own. And uh, I, I rarely ate vegetables. I rarely ate red meat. Um, and uh, yeah, it just, it was really, really unhealthy. Um, and then I met my husband and he is a really good cook. And so he cooked a lot and I never, I never cooked. Um, more than like boiling hot dogs or throwing a frozen pizza in the oven or like boiling spaghetti, you know, I cooking things in the microwave. I didn't even know how to cook eggs properly, um, a few years ago and, and I'm not joking about that. And so, um, over the last year, year and a half, I have been doing a lot more cooking. Um, but just simple things, you know, like it, it kind of started with like my husband showed me how to use the rice pot and so I would make rice and then, um, you know, I would just like heat stuff up in the oven, uh, just, just simple things like that. You know, I, I can make a good sandwich, but uh, <laughs> I, I never cooked, I never baked and, um, I started to listen to, I was looking for something to listen to um, at work and I found a food podcast called The Splendid Table. And I started listening to that and it started to get me kind of excited about food. I mean, I already like food and you know, I love sweets. I'm a huge sweets person. And so I was just like, you know, maybe I can make sweets since I love them so much, you know? maybe if I made sweets, then, you know, I don't know, I can enjoy them and, and, uh, maybe it's something I would actually like to do. So I started with, uh, cookies. Um, I just decided to bake cookies from like the Toll House recipe on the back of a bag of chocolate chips and they turned out really good. And <laughs> honestly, like my husband's like, these are the best cookies I've ever had. And so that was a huge uh, boost for me, um, you know, in my confidence. And they were they were really good. And so since then, I've just been listening to more food podcasts. I've branched out. I listen to a whole bunch now. Um, been watching a lot of YouTube videos, and I've just gotten excited excited about cooking and baking for the first time in my life and I've done a lot, <laughs> a lot in a short period of time. Um, basically every weekend I am trying like something new. And so I've gotten really good about making, um, like just uh, doing like fresh chicken breast, um, like refrigerated chicken breast. Um, and you know, I, I learned to cook vegetables in different ways and I do like ground beef, I've done pork roasts, um, I made a meatloaf for the first time um, last weekend I think it was, au gratin potatoes, no it was two weekends ago. Um, for the first time last weekend I made chocolate cream pie for the first time, um, I made like an enchilada casserole type dish uh, for the first time and that turned out really good. Um, so I've had a lot of successes and very few failures. Um, so that's really been awesome. Um, I've gotten pretty good at making cookies and like French toast, eggs. Um, I'm gonna do zones for the first time today for dinner and it will be my first time cooking sausage I mean I've done ground beef so I should be able to do sausage um, you know like it's the first for me to like be chopping up vegetables like I really had no understanding I'd never done these things you know before um, so you know I, I learned to cook a few things like while I was growing up but I just lost that knowledge and I didn't care to do it so I never was good at it um, and so yeah like I've become like a pretty decent baker and cook 
in a very short period of time and it's given me something to be excited about and to get better at and um, I made a cacio e pepe um, pasta which is uh, like cheese and, and pepper with like pecorino um, let's see I'm trying to think of anything else that I've done I made a banana cream pie but the crust didn't turn out great um, it still tasted good, but it, it wasn't like a pretty crust and I, I kind of know what I did. Like my butter wasn't chilled enough and, um, I didn't chill my dough before I used it. Um, I made an apple pie for, um, Thanksgiving and, uh, it, it was tasty. Um, my crust didn't turn out right either. So I have a, an issue with pie crust. Um, so that's something that I plan to improve on. Um, but yeah, I have things that I'm looking forward to making for the first time. Um, like cheesecake, I plan to do that soon. And, um, let's see, I made, I've made chocolate cake. I've made cornbread muffins. I've made chocolate muffins. Um, I, so yeah, like I've just been doing a lot of stuff and it's been fun and it's been exciting and I get a lot of um, gratification from doing it because you know like it's a pretty quick result um, for taking the time to do something right and then you know my husband's really been loving my cooking which is awesome and I'm looking forward to uh, cooking for my son and hopefully cooking with him because I want him to like grow up not feeling like cooking is a chore like I did. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of what I've been spending a lot of my time and energy doing. And uh, it, it does translate into other areas of my life. You know, it's given me something positive to focus on and it's teaching me patience and uh, I'm learning a lot from all the podcasts I'm listening to. I'm learning a lot, you know, even just about like food history, which I think is really interesting. So, um, you know, I even toyed around with the idea of like culinary school or something like that, but um, I don't wanna go that route. Like hearing how, you know, hearing how people um, like just their experience with like culinary school and like all the work that they put in I'm that's just not something that I'm looking forward to doing um but I do want to become a really good home cook and so um yeah that's that's what I've been spending a lot of time uh doing and focusing on so and then you know my husband and I are just counting down the months um and the days how we can move to Arizona. Hopefully it's gonna be October, so it's less than six months away. And uh, we just keep sending each other like restaurant articles, like, oh, we need to try this place. And we need to try this place when we get down uh, down there. And um, we're really excited about that. And um, let's see, like on a more personal note, we did have a partner that was living with us um, for a period of time and that ended, um, in February. And, um, honestly, there's just a, a lot of relief. Like my husband and I are polyfidelitous. If you haven't seen my other videos, you don't follow me on Instagram. Um, we are looking for like another female as a life partner and, and to have a family with. Um, and, and we found a partner and, uh, she just wasn't, she wasn't the right partner for us. And actually it was a very, very difficult, uh, total of like three months that we spent, uh, together. It was extremely rough and, um, it was just kind of a relief to have moved past that. And, and she just wasn't the right partner. And I, you know, I hope and think and believe that we will find the right partner for us in the future. Um, probably not in Utah, but we're not closed off to the idea. Um, but there's definitely a lot more people um, in Arizona than there are in Utah. And uh, we don't tend to get along or dive with 
the majority of the people here. So we're really, we really hate Utah. And so we're looking forward to moving to Arizona where my husband is from. And that's where our son is right now with my mother-in-law going to school. And I just can't wait to get out of Utah and into Arizona. So um, that's been going on. Um, I've really been into this like purple lip gloss that I got. I just got it at Walmart. It's called Mataholic Velvet Mousse Lip Color by Hard Candy. I've just been like, I always play with like my eye makeup, but I haven't done a lot of playing around with like lips. This is in the color Sugar Plum and that's what I'm wearing right now. I really like it. it. It feels super soft on my lips and it smells good and I'm into it. <laughs> um, so that's what I'm wearing on my lips. I got new glasses. Um, I think since my last video, I really like these. Um, and they are, they're Burberry. Um, Lens crafters, if you buy the warranty, um, you can actually trade out for a new pair if you're not getting like a new prescription. Um, you can trade out for a new pair within the year for like, um, like $50. I think it's like $50 for the frame, $50 for the lenses, or maybe it's 25 for each. I can't remember. But, um, basically I traded in the pair of glasses that I had for these and I just paid a little bit extra, um, Usually I use my flex spending to get my husband and I glasses every year. So, um, I really like these. They've got like kind of a, like a cute detail on the side, which I wasn't a big fan of at first, but I'm really digging it and I like how big the lenses are. So, um, and then I've been wearing a lot of this lid glitz that's what I'm wearing right now um although the pink is actually left over from um what I was wearing yesterday like I just washed my makeup off with like soap and water and the eyeshadow is so pigmented that sometimes it leaves left over which I don't hate honestly so this is um it's just pink and it, it goes on pretty sheer but glittery it's in the color Movie Star, and I got this at Walgreens. It was just sitting there. I really like pink. Like, I have pink undertones in my skin, and so I really like pink. I'm really into, like, pink and purple and orange. Those are the eye colors that I wear uh, most of the time. So pink is good for my skin tone. I've got blue eyes, even though most of the time I can't tell because... Um, my pupils tend to be dilated a lot. That's just always something that I've had. Um, but the pink and the eyeshadow that I usually wear is just this Urban Decay Electric. I've shown this in videos before. I have, I've had this for like three years and I use the shit out of it. I use for three years and I still have, like there's only one color that's gone, the silver, and that's because I tend to put like a highlight on the inner corner of my eyes and like above right here some of the time. Although lately I've just been putting that like liquid glitz like on my lid and under my eyes kind of to brighten. And then I put my eyeshadow over. Um, but this is like a good palette for doing like a rainbow look, which I do sometimes. And a lot of people ask me, not a lot of people, but if people make comments about my makeup, it's usually when I have the rainbow eyeshadow and they sometimes ask me like how I do it and basically I just I do it with a combination of brush and using my fingers and I just pick different colors usually from this palette and I just layer them on so like I'll start on one end with a color blend it into another color into another color and I just kind of layer it on until I have the look that I want it just takes some playing I've watched lots of makeup videos but I'm definitely not an expert or anything like that like I'm not the best makeup person and this is obviously really dirty but um yeah I use this basically every day um I have been breaking out a lot not 
like it might be you know from not washing off like my makeup I don't really wear base sometimes I wear powder um but I got these new makeup remover wipes that say that they're not supposed to clog your pores but I'm pretty sure they clog your pores because I've been breaking out a lot and it sucks um so you can kind of see one right there but yeah like I've just been breaking out a lot which isn't my favorite thing um so sometimes I'll just wear mascara and um and lip stuff and sometimes I wear lip stuff on my eyelids um I have a lip liner that I got with this this actually came with a similar colored lip liner but I didn't really need it for my lips and it makes a cute soft eyeliner so sometimes I'll do that so yeah let's see what else I'm drinking this this morning Rockstar Recovery um, this is only 20 calories per can um, contains 3% juice it has 3 carbs 3 grams of sugar and um, I really like these. I was drinking the five hour energy drinks for a while, but um, it gives me like a quick shot, like a quick concentrated shot of energy, which is kind of nice sometimes, but um, like it also can be like a little bit much, especially cause I like to also drink black tea during the day at work. Um, and so this kind of just lasts me longer, kind of helps me not to eat, like overeat um, because I tend to want to eat all the time when I'm sitting at my desk because I have a desk job and I'm sitting on my ass and I'm bored and so I tend to eat a lot. Um, like I look forward to the times when I get to eat at work so um, I'm drinking that but I do drink them sometimes on the weekends. Um, I've just been eating a lot of protein bars. I've been drinking protein shakes mixed with water. Um, I've been doing the balance breaks, which are usually have like nuts and fruit and um, like dried fruit, stuff like that in them. Um, yeah, and then P3s with the jerky and the nuts. I've been eating those. That's what I've been eating a lot during the day, during the week, and yogurt. I've been eating a lot of the light and fit, but I got some more of the, I don't even know what they're called right now. I can't even think of them. Um, hold on. I just bought some more of the Noosa yogurts um, in vanilla bean, because I really like the way that they taste and they help keep me regular with the bathroom. So that's always a good thing. Eating so many protein bars like I have been kind of makes that part not fun. So, um, and then I've been doing, like I said, a lot more baking and cooking. So I've been making more treats uh, than buying them. Although I've been buying candy bars and a little bit of Easter candy occasionally, you know, like a, I really like the Cadbury eggs. I just do. Um, and yeah, I haven't been eating ice cream lately, not just because it's been cold, but I just, I tend to over, overdo it, you know, with ice cream, whereas like you can just have a slice of pie and it's just like everything that you want. Um, and it just tastes better than store-bought most of the time when you make it yourself, um, hopefully. And, um, yeah, um, but I've been just making a lot of meat and vegetables. I've been doing, you know, I'll make rice uh, for my husband. I don't eat it very often, um, and but it, I'll make like roast potatoes and I will eat those because they're delicious. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then we were eating less fast food than we have been. Um, I just... I found a way to like kind of save more money eating at home and it tastes better and it's healthier and um so I've just been doing a lot more of that and uh yeah I haven't had donuts in a while um I used to do that like twice a month I'd get donuts and I'd eat like three donuts <laughs> um in a day but I haven't been doing that I really like the um 
the green tea lattes at Starbucks though. I really, really like those. Um, so occasionally I will get one of those. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I've been eating. And uh, there's not been a lot else going on. It's still cold here. Um, I haven't been exercising a lot. Actually, the weather's been really um, just really stupid. It's like some days it's warm and um, I mean like one day it was like 70, but uh, you know, if it's warm, it's kind of in the 50s. Um, and then there's lots of days where it's really cold in the 30s and um, we still get snow occasionally here and it just sucks. I can't wait to never have to see snow again. Um, I don't want to fucking live and drive in snow anymore. <laughs> you know, I've spent most of my 33, almost 34 years um, in Utah and I fucking hate snow. So I can't wait not to deal with that again or ever again, hopefully. So even though like Arizona did get some snow um, for the first time in like like a, a crazy amount of time recently, but uh, you know, it's nothing like the snow in Utah. So, um, so yeah, I haven't really been exercising. I've been a lot more active, like on my feet a lot, doing things around the house and grocery shopping. And, you know, I still make sure that I take the stairs at work, but I haven't been working out. Um, if it's warm outside, I'll take a walk on my lunch break, but you know, I, I do want to get back into working out and I do plan to when it gets warmer uh, to do more. But yeah, it just hasn't been something that I've been into, which I also know has kind of contributed to me, you know, being like on at a higher weight. Um, my hair is getting longer. I've been wearing it like this a lot um, because it's really simple and I think it's pretty cute and my husband likes it. Um, basically, I just let my hair, my hair, my hair air dry and um, my hair is naturally kind of wavy. And then I take a comb, draw a line down the back of my head, separate it, put it into a pigtail and just kind of let, you know, and I, I rat it a little bit because, you know, it, it it's pretty thin. Um, and then I kind of wrap my ponytails and uh, yeah, I like the way that it, it looks and it's really simple. So I wear my hair like this quite a bit. Um, or I'll do like two like kind of buns, you know, up a little higher. Um, I rarely wear my hair down right now. Um, I've also been putting it in kind of a fluffy ponytail where like I'll put my hair half up into a ponytail, fluff that up, and then put the bottom half in a ponytail and then combine them in another bigger, fluffier ponytail and kind of wrap that. Um, sometimes I'll pin my hair back, sometimes I don't. Um, I bleached the ends and also um, some in my bangs, but I recent, like semi-recently um, put kind of a darker color. So now it's kind of like a brown red. Um, you can't really see that well in this light, but uh, I'm, I'm pretty into it. I really like all the hair colors that are just like multiple colors, like bleached with like multiple colors. Um, and I went to hair school and I'm pretty sure that I could do that, but I know it would be a big pain in the ass. And, um, I don't know. I was thinking about chopping my hair off again, but I'm just not ready to do that because it took so long just to grow it out from here. If you see my videos from like a year ago, I had short hair, like really short hair. And, um, it's taken me a long time and now it's just like barely to my shoulders. Um, and yeah, I'm just not ready to do that because I like being able to do like simple and easy things with my hair. So, but there's a good chance that in the future I will chop my hair off again and maybe bleach it, you know, cause I, I get bored with it and I like to color it different colors. And, um, you know, like if you, I have some older videos where I have like pink and red hair and you know, there's purple in my hair and stuff like that. I've done blue. Um, so yeah, I like to play with my hair, but, uh, I always go back to black, even though I'm naturally a blonde. <laughs> um, 
I just feel more comfortable with dark hair. It just feels more like me. It has for a long time. So, anyway, I, I, I'm just rambling now. I don't really have anything else to talk about. So, I hope you guys are doing well. And uh, I'll talk to you later.